Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a very chatty get ready with me video. This is the look that I came up with and I'm freaking loving it. I'm obsessed with the eyes and this nude lipstick is just, mm, it's good. I love it. So I can't wait to share all of this with you. I love doing chatty get ready with me videos. I feel like it's been forever since I've done a chatty get ready with me video. I don't know if that's the case, but it just feels like it. So it felt really good today to just hang out with you because I've missed you. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. So I'm gonna start with my face. Um, I've really been enjoying doing my face first before doing my eyes lately. I'm gonna be using some new products, some newer products, some oldies but goodie products. I got like a wide range of things here. So the first product I have is the Tatcha Silk Canvas face primer. I really have been loving this um, and I do find that using the disc to take the product out makes a difference. This is what the little disc thing looks like. It comes with it and then you just scoop it on out. So I take about that much. I'm going to be rubbing this in my skin. Mm -mm -mm. I've been really liking this primer lately. It just feels really silky. And then for foundation, I really want to use this one because I haven't used it in a hot minute. Um, I haven't really been using foundations very much, but when I do, I just like use the same couple foundations. So I really wanted to play with this one again. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. I'm in the shade Light Neutral, and it should match me pretty well right now just because I had a spray tan spray tan. I had a spray tan on, but it's sort of kind of fading. It's one of those ones that drops. I know it's probably not focusing on it, but it is what it is. Um, so I'm going to dot that over here. And then I've got my new blue beauty blender. Pat this in the skin. So have you guys been getting notifications for my videos or have they been showing up in your subscription boxes? Because every single time I post a video, at least three people say, oh, I've missed you or I've missed your videos. And I've been posting at least one a week. So I've been posting consistently, but every single time I post, someone always says that. So I'm just curious and I want to know because I just think that's really weird and it's a shame if that's the case because I don't know, it just sucks. Um, so if you're not following me, on my other social media platforms. I will list them here. I always have them in the description box of my video. I will always, always post on there when I post a new video on here, if that makes sense. So if YouTube isn't telling you when my video goes up, at least you'll see it on there. So make sure you're following me on, what am I, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. That's it, I canceled Snapchat because I was getting dick pics and I don't need to see all that. I forgot how much I love this foundation, it's so so pretty. Okay, so I've got that blended in and now I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer and I have the shade Light Warm, which is kind of like my self tan shade. It's a little bit darker than the light warm that I normally use. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to mix a little bit of the Sunday Riley Moisturizer in with it. This is just a little sample 250 point perk or something like that from Sephora. I've got like barely any left in there, but I'm rationing it. Without the moisturizer though, I'm gonna pop it on these areas where I have a couple of breakouts. And then under the eye is where I'm gonna add the moisturizer in with it. So would you guys like to see wedding videos? Um, I haven't started planning my wedding yet and I still might not for like a while, but I'm curious. Would you like to see like planning videos? I think that would be I mean, I don't know. I know I'm going to watch some when it comes time to plan. Um, to be honest, I'm not looking forward to planning uh, a wedding. I mean, I'm excited for it to come together, but I'm not excited for actually having to plan like this big party. But yeah, I just thought that that would be kind of a fun series to do. Um, we can all share ideas and stuff. So I know it's not makeup related. I'm definitely going to do some bridal makeup tutorials. We still haven't like set a date. We haven't planned anything. We're still just working on the house and I am fine with that. There's no rush. I already feel like we're married. So it's like, I'm, I'm more excited about moving in and having our home together. Okay, it's looking a little bit yellow, like a little too yellow. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the color light. I didn't use this because I need a darker shade but I guess I'm in between my pale shade and my tan shade. Underneath my eyes, I'm gonna set it with the MAC Pro Emphasize Shaping Powder. Uh, I totally forgot about this product, but I recently did my best friend's makeup for her wedding, and I used one of the 
blushes inside of this palette and I saw this in here and I was like, I gotta use that again. So, and I meant to use the Pro Longwear Concealer today, but I forgot to grab it and set it out here. And here we are, past concealer, but I need to, I need to grab that soon because I really wanna play with it again. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use that powder underneath my eyes to set it. I used to use this all the time. What this does is set everything in place so that it doesn't crease, but it also brightens the area up. Okay, all over the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush, yeah, this powder here. This is in the shade Medium or number two, and I'm using the It Cosmetics number seven <clears throat> brush to apply this. So I've also really been wanting to do declutter videos. Um, those are like a thing and I'm always decluttering. I think in the world of being a beauty influencer, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that feels like they are always organizing their makeup. I mean, it's constant because you get PR all the time, which is amazing and a blessing. However, then you have to you have to organize it, you have to store things, you have to donate things, um, giveaways, and and give things to friends and family, and it's, it's a lot. So I'm kind of like ready to go through, especially my lip products. You guys, I wear like no more than 10 lip products. Why do I have like two drawers, two like acrylic things? Like, no, I have way too much crap. So if you want to see declutter videos, let me know. I'm, I'm kind of into it. I don't know if that's something that I personally would watch on YouTube. Um, cause I've tried to watch a couple and I like get bored, but I feel like it's a thing. I feel like people like it. So if you want to see that, let me know. I'm loving this combo right now. I'm feeling very flawless. Um, for bronzer, I'm going to use my favorite. This is the Bronze Goddess Bronzer from Estee Lauder. I am in the shade medium. I could probably use light and like get away with it, but we're going to use medium because I love it. And I'm going to use the Tom Ford bronzer brush. I am so excited to move into my house, you guys. I'm excited to show you like more of my life just because I feel a little bit more restricted here just because I've got a really weird daily routine. I mean, every night I sleep at my boyfriend's house and then I wake up, I come here to my parents' house where all my stuff is and then I work. I film, I edit, whatever. Sometimes I'll actually stay at Ruben's house to edit, but then um, once I'm done, I go to his house and eat dinner and go to bed. Actually, we watch The Office while we eat dinner and then we go to bed. So I live in like two places. It's just really weird. So I'm so excited to like be able to finally move into our place that's ours that we've made and we've decorated and it's just our home. And just to be able to share that kind of stuff with you, I'm so excited. I mean, I'm 26. I'm still living technically at home. It's just it's weird and I'm just excited for it to not be so weird. I'm excited to create different and new content too. I feel like I, I mean, I don't feel, I know that I do the same videos all the time and I just want to do something different. I don't know why. And I think that's why I want to do like the declutter videos so bad because it's something different and I want to do like outfit videos, like some outfit try on stuff. Like I'm just, I'm into it and let me know if you are too, because I'm excited about it. Okay, I hope I'm not too tan for this at the moment. We'll see how this goes. I might mix this with something else, but I'm gonna be going into the Infidelity Contour Powder from Makeup Geek. This used to be my jam, but I remember this was my jam in like the winter months. So I do have a tan on. It might be a little bit too cool toned. If so, I'll try mixing it with something else, but let's try this. Okay, and then I have a lot of highlighters here. I think I wanna try one of these new ones from NARS. We've got Capri and Fort de France. The France one is more gold, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing because I'm gonna do some like bronzy eyes. It's super pretty. And I'm gonna hit it right up here. Ooh, that's pretty. You know what I find when applying highlighter, if you want it to go on very like, pigmented and like highlighty is don't just move your hand when you're applying it. Don't just, you know, whatever. You need to move your whole arm and do like this and that will really make sure that you are getting that like intensity that you are looking for. 
Because anytime I'm like, oh, this is kind of like not going on so much. And then I like move my arm around and it's like, oh, there it is. So try that. If you feel like sometimes you've got highlighters that aren't like giving you their best, try that out. Maybe it'll make a difference. I don't know. I'm going to pop this here on the nose and down here on the cupid's bow. And then I'm going to take just a little random lip brush and just a touch, like a little boop of that contour product. And I'm going to pop it in the divot of my cupid's bow. I saw Katie do this at uh, Luster Lux and it was like, hmm, that made a difference. Let's try it. Okay, that was a little, okay, damn it, that was a little much. That's okay. Um, it just like made hers look, it just made it look more plump and pronounced. All right, for blush, I'm gonna use one of my favorites that I've been using a lot lately, but I just think it's gonna go. This is Tiger Lily from Becca. It's just a beautiful corally orange. I just think it's so pretty. So I'm gonna use the blush brush from Tom Ford and Mm. Yeah, so pretty. So I have a new brow pencil that I wanna try. I'm interested to see how this goes. Um, this is the Kat Von D Signature Brow. It looks like this. And the pencil is very interesting. It's a very thin, wait, that's a spoolie. It's a very thin pencil. However, it's like thinner on one side. Let me see if this will show you. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully it shows, but it's very like, it's not like a round tip, it's kind of like a rectangular tip. It's so interesting, so we'll see how this goes. I got the shade light brown, it's a little bit more ashy. Anytime I go too light though in a brow pencil, it ends up green on me for some reason. That's why I always go a little bit darker in shade and it tends to work. Cause I've got pretty dark eyebrows, even though my hair is like blonde blonde, my roots come through, my brows are there, it all kind of ties together. So let's try this out. Ooh, I like this. This is nice because of the way that it's shaped, you can get those like hair-like strokes a little bit easier. What do you guys think? I kind of like it. I mean, what do you think of the color? Um, I really like the pencil. I like the way that it applied. It was very smooth, not too waxy, not too creamy. It's had, it had the perfect amount. Um, they're definitely darker than what I'm used to. They're a little bit more ashy than what I'm used to. I have more of an ashy pencil normally, but it is, I guess, warmer than this. I don't know, I kinda like it. I kinda like the contrast. So, I'm going to prime. I'm using Painterly, doo -doo 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 -doo, Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. And then I'm gonna set my eyes with that Charlotte Tilbury powder that I used on my face. Run a little bit through the brows. That's a little trick I love doing when your brows are a little bit either too strong, like too filled in, too solid, whatever. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I really wanna use the new Urban Decay Beached Eyeshadow Palette. This opens very weird, it opens like this. Um, but the colors are really, really pretty. Uh, I'm just realizing that there's only like one matte shade, so this will be interesting, but this is what they look like. I'm gonna use this in conjunction with my eyeshadow palette that's got like all of my favorite single eyeshadows in here. I will be doing an updated video on every single eyeshadow that's in here because the last one I did was a year ago and then I added like a whole nother row to this. I'm first gonna go into this shade, which is Bake Sale from Makeup Geek. It's a really great, uh, base transition shade or an all over the lid color or to set the lid I'm pretty fair so this works as a transition shade but if you are deeper you would like this more for just setting the lid yes so I'm gonna use this on a Smith 232 so are you guys into fashion videos I'm gonna put a poll right here vote and let me know if you want to see some fashion videos from me whether it be like fashion favorites or uh, haul videos, try-ons, um, lookbooks, stuff like that. I'm really into that kind of stuff. I've been posting a little bit more on Instagram, so if that's something that you're interested in, please let me know. Okay, so now I'm gonna add in that Daybreak shade, which is the shade right here. Okay. 
And then I'm going to take Blaze, which is the second lightest shade. I'm going to take it on a 242 from MAC. I'm going to spray that with Fix Plus just to, you know, make it more intense. I'm going to pop this on the inner lid. Oh, that's pretty. And then I'm going to use 16th Street, which is the like true bronzy shade in the palette. Spray that with Fix Plus. And pop this more in the center. These are actually going on a lot more rosy on my eye than they look in the palette, to be honest. Like those look super gold and super bronze, but it's going on more of like a rosy gold. Maybe it's cause I wet it, I don't know. Okay, and then on the outer part of the lid, I'm gonna grab Wedge, which is this shade here. It's like the deeper bronze. I'm gonna pop this right on the outer lid area. So I wasn't gonna do this when I sat down, but as I'm staring at this, I feel like this look would be somewhat wasted if I didn't use these blue shades. So I'm gonna, um, anytime I've like done this where I do like a neutral look and then I try to do like a pop of color on the bottom, I end up hating it. I don't know why. Well, we're gonna try it. <laughs> I'm gonna go into Double Dip, this shade here. And this is a Makeup Geek pencil brush. It's a very itty bitty, teeny tiny little brush. And I'm gonna pick this up. I feel like I should probably wet this, but I'm gonna try it without it first. And I'm gonna bring this on the lower lash line. So far, so good. I'm pretty sure this is an, a synthetic pencil brush, which is why this is going on without a problem. And it's going on nice and buttery and pigmented. And then I'm lightly, I'm pulling back on my brush and I'm feathering it down just cause I know, I don't really know if I can blend this out with that reddish orange shade. So I'm just trying to kind of blend it now so that I don't have to later. And when I pull back further on my brush like this, that just makes it so that it gives a lighter touch and fades it. And then I'm gonna take Plunge, which is the deeper blue right here on that same Makeup Geek brush. And I'm gonna put this on the outer corner or outer under lid, what? <sighs> on the outer part of the lower lash line. That is what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna use this NARS pencil in Abbey Road. Don't mind the tip of it. I tried to sharpen it when I first bought this years ago. Um, I'm gonna put this in my waterline. I'm loving the way that this looks. I am going to apply eyeliner and lashes, but I'm gonna do it off camera because it takes a while. My battery's dying, gotta switch it. It's a long thing. So I'll see you in a minute with that done and we can do our lips. Okay, so I just applied my liner and my lashes. Um, the lashes that I have on are from House of Lashes, but they don't have a name on them, which is really weird. So I'll try to look online and I'll put them down below uh, in case you're curious. I forgot to highlight my brow bone and inner corner. So I'm gonna go into the color Salt from that Urban Decay palette. It's the lightest shade. And I'm just gonna bring that right here under the brow and also right here on the inner corner. I feel like this is really gonna like tie the blue colors into the bronzy colors on the top. So now for lips, I do have two lipsticks that are new. I picked these up when I was in New York, which by the way, I can't believe I totally forgot to even mention this sooner. Um, I went to New York two weeks ago and I filmed with Estee Lauder, which was amazing. I had the best time. If you wanna see some behind the scenes shots, check out my Instagram stories. Like one of the highlight moments, I have it as Estee Partner and um, you can kind of see some behind the scenes shots. I did vlog. I'm just waiting till what we worked on is public so then I can do my vlog or whatever. Um, but yeah, when I was there, I went to the coolest Sephora. They had a Pat McGrath gondola, which I've never seen Pat McGrath in stores, so it was really cool. So I picked up this lipstick. It's in Sextrology. Um, it's kind of like the perfect pinky nude. It looks beautiful, so I've got that one, but I won't be using that one today because I don't think 
I want this color nude. I want to go with this nude, which I've always been kind of nervous to try more Tom Ford lipsticks because they're so expensive. I've tried two and I've returned them each time just because they've never been exactly what I was looking for, but this looks perfect. So, and I'm, I'm so excited that I was able to actually like see all of their lipsticks, swatch them in stores so I could actually see what I want. Um, so this is called First Time. It's number nine. And this is the most beautiful, beautiful matte nude lipstick. Um, so I'm going to be using this one because it looks pretty perfect. Um, but first, before I apply the lipstick, I am going to apply lip liner. I'm going to be using my subculture lip liner from MAC. It's like an oldie but a goodie, but I'm going to line and overline my lips. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury and deepen up the outer corners of my mouth with this and kind of like the poutiness on the bottom. And then I'm gonna take the Iconic Nude and draw a line down the center of my lips. And now I'm gonna go into the First Time Lipstick from Tom Ford. Mm, that is so pretty. I feel like that's just like the perfect nude i don't know it's got like a little bit of like a pinky peach undertone to it i think it's so pretty <sighs> i love it so this is the completed look i am so happy with how this turned out i'm glad that i went with the blue and went a little bit out of my comfort zone but this lip color I know that the eyes should be the focus, especially with blue on them, but I can't stop staring at my lips. I love this color. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to do so. Um, if you want more chatty videos like this, let me know, because I could do these all day long, I swear. These are my favorite videos to film. Leave your requests down below in the comment section. Uh, make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell. Uh, hopefully then you're notified when I post a new video. I don't know what's going on with YouTube these days. Uh, but that at least should increase your chances of seeing my videos when they go up. But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you soon. Bye.